Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. I want to share with you today from Revelation 2, verse 10, about the 10 days of tribulation. And I want to make some connections for you about what we talked about yesterday and the watch days that we have starting at the beginning of December. Revelation 2.10 says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee the crown of life. Okay, so here we have a passage of Scripture that is quite interesting. We wonder if this is going to be uh, fulfilled in the future. And... Uh, this connects us with, quite possibly, 10 days before the beginning of the Great Tribulation. This does not say that they will have Great Tribulation 10 days. This says they will have Tribulation 10 days. So there's an interesting connection that we're seeing 10 days before midweek Hanukkah. From December 14th and 15th, going back 10 days. Okay, and something that may occur on December 4th or 5th. Okay, and this is connected to this speech that Barack Obama had in Berlin, Germany, at the Brandenburg Gate, which is the iconic location of Adolf Hitler, with all of his famous speeches during World War II and during the Holocaust and as he rallied the Nazis to his, uh, to his evil deeds and uh, what took place in, in Germany uh, based on this location, based on uh, his plan to uh, the, the final solution. So Barack Obama was at the Brandenburg Gate. Now this was May 25th, 2017. Now the interest, interesting thing about this is that this is 10 days before Pentecost. Pentecost was June 4th, 2017. 10 days before that is May 25th. Now, 10 days before Pentecost is Ascension Day. Okay, so this connection we're watching is from Ascension Day 2017 to December 5th, 2020. And then we have the connection uh, from Pentecost, 1290 days, that brings us to midweek Hanukkah, okay? Midweek Hanukkah. Now, what we had shared with you is the uh, beginning of the seven years or the end of the 70 years is uh, June 4th, 2017, which was Israel's 70th Pentecost, well, at the same time, it was the 50-year anniversary from the Six-Day War and the recapturing of Jerusalem from June 5th, 1967. So we have a double confirmation on June 4th, 2017. Now, what we had shared yesterday is this, this idea that China is going to be bringing a Pearl Harbor-style attack, okay, with an EMP strike. Okay, now there's two, there's two uh, connections to a Pearl Harbor style attack. One is the idea of surprise. Well, if we, if we are warned in advance and know that it could be coming, the idea of surprise is taken away. So if they're, if they're going to be bringing a Pearl Harbor style attack, that might be a connection to the timing of Pearl Harbor. And so we have this, this time frame that we're watching at the beginning of December that could mark the beginning of a 10-day 10 10 day period from December 5th through December 15th. Okay, so we have this, this connection between the Obama Reformation speech on May 25th, 2017, and Pentecost number 70, June 4th, 2017. There's a 10-day window. Okay, now if we add 1,290 days to that, it's bringing us to December 5th to December 15th, 2020. And this is 
that this is what I'm seeing as the potential for 10 days of tribulation, okay, could be connected to an EMP strike that has to do with a Pearl Harbor style attack, an EMP strike. Okay, now this would definitely be beginning of tribulation. Okay, not yet the great tribulation. The, the Holy Spirit has not uh, taken, uh, has not been taken out of the way. Uh, the full release of the uh, man of sin has not yet happened. That won't happen till the rapture of the church. But a time of darkness, a time of severe suffering, a, a time of elevated tribulation would surely begin if something like this took place, like an EMP strike. Okay, so the, the, uh, the concern we have is that when they say that they're uh, planning a Pearl Harbor style attack, they could be telling us the timing of this, okay? So what I'm seeing is the, the 10 days between December 5th and December 15th as the possible time of the 10 days of tribulation, which would be you know, the, like the warning, the final warning leading up to the rapture of the church on midweek Hanukkah. Okay, so as I shared in many other videos, we're watching the seven-year time frame from June 4th, 2017 to June 4th, 2024. We have 1,290 days brings us to midweek Hanukkah. Okay, so this midweek Hanukkah, has another 10-day connection based on Obama's trip to Berlin and the speech he made there uh, uh, on the 500th, 500th anniversary of the Reformation, which, is, which was the purpose of Obama's speech in, uh, in Berlin, Germany. So, you know, as I shared last night, we have a list of things that took place in December that are kind of our our guide here to see the timing of events that could happen. Now, December 1st on the Hebrew calendar is the date of the abomination, which is 15 Kislev took place. The abomination when Antiochus set up the altar of Zeus in the temple, that was 15 Kislev. That corresponds to December 1st of this year. December 3rd through the 7th is the date of Pearl Harbor, between the Gregorian and the Hebrew calendars. Okay, so if we look at the Hebrew calendar based on 1941 and, and, and now, it's Pearl Harbor lines up between December 3rd and December 7th. Then we have December 5th, which is exactly 1290 days from the Obama Reformation speech. And this is a 10 day window then from the 1290th day 10 more days to the, to the window of Pentecost to midweek Hanukkah, a 10-day window between December 5th and December 15th. Okay, and this is all leading up then to the winter solstice and the great conjunction and the sign of the beginning of the great tribulation and the war in heaven between Jupiter and Saturn, the great conjunction of the winter solstice. Okay. So these are the days on the Hebrew calendar that these events took place. Uh, Kislev 15, the abomination of desolation, is December 1st. Kislev 17 was the Palestinian partition plan, which corresponds to December 3rd, 2020. Kislev 19 is 1,290 days after the Obama Reformation speech, which is December 5th. And then we have the connection to Pearl Harbor between December 3rd and December 7th. Okay, and this is a 10-day window to midweek Hanukkah from December 5th to December 15th. So I think this would be our time frame to keep an eye on for this 10 days of tribulation to be fulfilled before the great tribulation begins on midweek Hanukkah. Okay, so... If you have any uh, questions or concerns about what I'm sharing, please leave your comments in the, in, uh, below the video. And uh, I'll be checking the comments as always. And uh, you can also uh, see the list of videos I will leave for you in the description box about all the things we've been sharing leading up to this. 
For those who've been following this channel, following what I've been sharing, uh, this should not be too hard to see. Um, for those who are new to this channel, you may need to uh, get caught up with some of the uh, previous videos that I've done leading us to uh, midweek Hanukkah. It's the timing of the rapture and the beginning of the Great Tribulation. I pray you guys are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People, the sign of His coming revealed.